This lesson deals with supplemental problem 2.7. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 2 supplemental problems on page 6. Another type of switch is called a push button switch. There's actually two types. One's called normally closed and one's called normally open. I made a little sketch here of the normally closed switch. So here I've got the two contacts on the switch and they're shorted together until I press on the button and that would just disconnect this short. So it's normally closed until I take an action. A little sketch here of the normally open. So here I've got my two contact wires and they're not connected so there's no current flowing until I press the button of the switch and I short these two together. Okay, suppose you want to design a buzzer system for a car that it would sound the buzzer if the driver of the car is seated and one or both of the car doors is open. Could you specify the pole throw and the type of switch that we would need? Designing a circuit is difficult in that you have to use your imagination and come up with ideas and start to play with the components that I have and see if I can put together a combination that might meet the specifications. Let's try this. If I cooked a buzzer across the car battery, say it's 12 volts, then the buzzer would sound. So if I break that path, then don't have the buzzer sounding. I need someone to sit in the seat for anything to happen. So let's make that a normally open switch. And when the person sits down, we'll then close that switch. Now I've got my two doors, and if they're closed, then I want to have the alarm not go on. If I use a normally closed switch, that when I close the door, I would then force this button open, I would force this button open. Try like a refrigerator door. The person sits down, and then a door is open, then this switch is closed, and I get a path for the buzzer and current to flow. But if the door is closed, then the switch is opened. And this is a design using push button switches. And this is Supplemental Problem 2.7.